Night of the Iguana. John Houston's direction, as excellent as always, a smart and funny picture, the way a Tennessee Williams movie ought to be. And Burton could hardly have been better, could he, playing that destructive character, you know, playing it with a degree of physical life that he did tend to lose when his marriage to fame and fortune and Liz did begin to take its real effect. It's not so easy to believe these days in the absolute wave of adulation that broke over Burton once the publicists had got hold of the off-screen romance that had begun when he was playing opposite Miss Taylor in Cleopatra in 1963. There were headlines worldwide, huge crowds battered at the stage doors while he was playing Hamlet in New York. That was after Cleopatra had at last got finished, and that was just before he made the iguana. Soon he was averaging the vast sum then of a uh, million dollars a picture and some of the life that we saw in his acting tonight did seem to be lost forever. Next week, another top double bill. A message for the Queen. A message for the Queen. I'm Sir William Cecil, my lord. Your wife has been found dead. Of a broken neck at the foot of a staircase. I grieve for you, Lord Robert. Lady Dudley was alone in her house. There is talk of murder. I see that you have courage. And I see you are the great queen of whom all speak. <laughs> and you are young. Not too young to ride at the head of an army. You have come to ask me for an army. Yes, an army supplies money. And money. Which I shall most happily repay to you when I reign once again in Scotland. How else may I aid you? Be open with me, dear cousin. For be assured there is no waking hour in my day when you are far from my thoughts. Your fate is linked with mine. We are princes both. We are joined by blood. What else have you to tell me or to ask of me? Nothing. Nothing? Why, what else could there be? Some helpful word concerning the murder of Lord Darnley. Yes, of course. Rest assured, Elizabeth, that I am innocent in the matter. That gives me great joy. For when you are honorably acquitted of the crime of which you are accused, then you shall have your army and your money. Vanessa Redgrave and Glenda Jackson in Mary, Queen of Scots. And then, Matt Dillon in one of the great coming-of-age films, Francis Coppola's Rumblefish. A coming-of-age film for all ages. Same channel, same time, next Friday night. See you then.